What's up? Hey guys, how are you? Good, how are you? Well, it's a long story. You want me to start from the very beginning? No, just skip to today. Okay. So what we're doing is a river cuttery board. Charcuterie board. Yeah, that. So we got our new uh, Let's Resin leveling table. Adjustable feet. Nice piece of equipment. I've got that right on. So that's that's a that's a major plus right there. And I used the Let's Resin mold the other day on one, and I was very impressed with that. That was a nice mold. Went in, came out just perfect. And now I've got this other mold that we just bought that's also got... This one's a little larger, so we're going to test it. We just got this one off of Etsy. So let me touch base on a couple things. Back a while ago, we were watching a YouTube, and it was a guy on there saying how to test colors... Because when we're doing this, obviously we're not going to mix resin with all these different colors just to throw it away. So what we had touched base on is that we put water in the cup. Not water in the resin, but a little bit of water in the cup, and we added our coloring. And that gives us a really good idea on the color of resin that we're going to be using. So no, we don't add water to the resin. We add a little bit of water to the cup. We it, and at this we're using uh, just mica powder. testing colors. Yeah, sometimes the powders are not the same color when they're wet. <clears throat> right. So we went. It's it's just a lot cheaper and easier that way because then you could just dump this out, opposed to mixing resin and adding your color to test it. So it's water in the cup with the mica powder to test your color, not water in the resin. So this is what we have here. I think this is going to be a nice board. This is going to look pretty good. So we're going to actually pour a clear coat down along the bottom just to seal the base and get a foundation going. Then once we have that, we're going to come back in with the, um, what were these shells called? Abalone shells. <laughs> yeah, the abalone shells. And that's going to layer on top of the clear coat after it sets. And then we're going to, of course, pour another clear coat on top of that and seal everything in. But this wood, everywhere that the wood's penetrated, is where we're going to mix our uh, emerald green. Or no, I'm sorry, it wasn't emerald green. It was green bronze. We'll link it all below. It'll be all linked below. <laughs> and that's going to go all in this area and in this area, possibly a little bit here and some right here. So with all that, we're gonna get started. I gotta. So I just wanna say the difference between the two molds. This mold is made of like a starboard, right? Type. Yeah. And there are seams to it. This one is larger and a lot more expensive. This one was about $300 off of Etsy. It was custom built to the size. The one we used on the last video was made by Let's Resin, it was HDPE. It was no seams. That was a nice one. That was super nice. I wish they made it in other sizes because that would be my go-to. We had to caulk the edges on this and it still leaked a little water. So then I, this one being so much more expensive, you still have to water tight it. I had to caulk and seal all the bottom. Now he's going to just press these all down with clamps so less resin doesn't leak underneath. Here's a just an idea for less resin in case you're listening. A nice form like this with little um, hold down handles and little star blocks. That would come in really handy. That would work out nice. Your form was great. I love that one. The, the uh, mold, it came right out. No issues whatsoever. But now we're looking for some convenience. <laughs> we're not asking too much. <laughs> no. All right, so what are we doing? Ready? I mixed 16 ounces of the pump resin because 
that can get poured up to like an inch deep. That's great for deep pours and it, it doesn't take like three days to cure. So this we'll be able to pour this afternoon, a little later this afternoon. You know, all we're doing now is just pouring the base, right? To seal all the wood underneath. Yeah, we'll I'm gonna see if there's our... any leaks that go underneath the wood and then give us a little base that we can plane down before the shell goes in. I might need a little more. I thought 16 ounces would no, do it. No. Everything is nice and level. Look at that. Look at that. So while I mix more, we'll just torch some. Well, I don't know. It... How much more do you think we need? Did it go yeah, to the it's edge? It's not quite. No, I would. Okay, I'll get a little more mix. So, well, Michelle is cleaning her resin cup. I'll take this opportunity to just say hi to all you wonderful people. You're so weird. And also let you know that we don't need to pour no more resin. We got it. Thank you. So that's going to be good. There's a video in the description if you don't know how to clean your cups. There's a video in the description if you don't know how to clean your cups. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> she likes when I waste video time like this. Don't you, hun? No. You know, you do. edit it out. You can't edit me. I do edit you. Oh, I'm going to be edited. I feel so used and abused. All right, guys. So we're going to let that harden up and set. I don't know what the proper, what's the proper? Cure. Cure. We're going to let that cure. All right. So it's not 100% cured. But we're getting ready to make our next pour. And while she's mixing up the resin, I'm gonna sprinkle some abalone. You want some bologna? I mean abalone, my bad. Lots and lots of it. Don't be chintzy. I'm not being chintzy, I'm being... Generous. I'm being, I'm being specific on where I put it. No, it's going to cover the whole thing. The whole what? The whole thing. Ooh, that's going to look good. Different. And some of you out there might recall and remember. Hey, I'll show you. Hang on, don't go nowhere. <clears throat> that's right. The winning swan, the abalone. <laughs> rub it in. Rub it in, rub These it in. These people probably didn't even watch that video. That's all right. I won, by the way. It was a challenge. I'm waiting for everybody on the camera to tell me when to stop adding abalone shells. Keep going. I know a couple of our regular listeners yell at the camera, Kimberly. No, don't spray alcohol and then hit it with the torch. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough. Let me be the judge. We don't want to add too much. I just want all places full. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Here, one, one more, okay? Just one. one. Oh, no, I need some right there. <laughs> well, you can't move them around. Okay, I'm happy with that. Ready to pour. All right, so we did have a couple little areas that we had to kind of dam up because when we do our green, this little valley here is completely open and would be flowing out into here. So we put some clear packing tape on here and also on this side as well. We got an area right here and this area is going to pour down and come through a little void that comes all the way over to here. So we have those kind of dammed up and uh, we're going to see how this works. So we're going to hold off on the green until tomorrow and make sure this works first. Easy, easy. Not that easy. Yeah, gently, gentle, very gentle. Oops. Hey, you're getting resin on the wood. Okay. It's not easy with this 
silicone cup that's flexible. I'd say just start mixing it up. It's got to touch everything. This is the second set of 16 ounces. We need a little bit more over here in this corner. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That's a good. Well, I'm just going to use it up, whatever it is. It's like putting a meatball in the pasta. You like the meatball in the pasta? <laughs> oh, do you guys see what I put up with every day? What time is it? It's probably getting past my bedtime. So what are you going to do? Just ditch me? Well, hey, 9 o'clock comes. I got to go. It's 7 o'clock. Are you sure? Pretty sure. It's got to be later than 7. It's fall. It's getting oh, dark earlier. It's 7.24. I got a couple hours left. Move all that around. That was like the perfect amount. I think this was a good decision going with the abalone. You did good, hon. Yeah, that was my idea. That was your idea. I think we need more shell down here. There's Where? a few empty spots. I'm going to clean this up as you fill it in. All right. One at a time? One, one shell at a time? Yeah. No. Oops. Oops. Oopsie daisy. I do need some more down here. That's all right. Uh, I just happen to have some. Probably could have used a little bit more resin. Maybe we should add more shell to raise that level. Adding more shell going to raise that level? Yeah, it'll raise the level. Well, but it, the problem is we need to be able to plane this down without hitting shell. So maybe I'll mix up a little more resin. Okay. Is it leaking anywhere? Mm. No. You're grabbing a torch, hon. Okay, let me grab the torch. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put you on a show. It's Please my... do not try this at home. We are do not advocate <laughs> <It's my trademark. laughs> starting fires with alcohol. It's my trademark. <laughs> Spray and light and run. Hey, I can make up a song by that. You don't need to make up a spray song. Spray and light and spray and run. Did you cut me off? No. Oh, okay. But I'm going to now. Ladies and gentlemen. Four more ounces. Four more ounces. Some of the wood is a little higher than others, so. But the good news is it's not going through our little dam. Damn, our damn worked. Is it is it wrong to say damn on video? <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, my damn worked. Why would you be mad your damn worked? Well, I wouldn't be mad that it worked. All right. All so, right. so this is not flowing. Nope. So that's good. That's not flowing. So that's good. But we're going to let it cure. Here, hit it with the torch, huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> we're going to let it cure. Yes, people. We are ready to pour our wood. What oh color did you go God. with? What's it called? I don't know. Well, what do you mean you don't know? I didn't look. Well, you can't just mix stuff in that. No, this is... It'll be linked below. Green bronze. Green bronze. Hopefully I have enough, otherwise I'll be mixing more. So we'll try not to. Well, that's gotta be filled up right there. Yeah, I'll probably be mixing more. I forgot I had to fill it all the way up. It's 
definitely be mixing more. Is it too late to rethink our color for the wood? A little too late. Oh yeah, we're gonna need a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I only had six ounces left of this bottle. That's it's why I only filled up over it. here, so. So yeah. Um, let me mix more. Get to mixing, baby. Get to mixing. I'll stay in here and supervise. Okay. Do you remember what your ratio and color was? Nope. Well, that all disappeared underneath the wood. See how this works here. Hmm. Well, you cocked it. <laughs> You're gonna have to yank it apart. Yeah. Pause. That's pretty good though. I'll go get my. Ready? Ooh, that. Oh, that side came out beautiful. <laughs> that side came out really nice. <laughs> well, it has that coat of clear. Yeah. So it did leak under, but wow, that's gonna be, this side will be the top, but this side will be the work too. It's uh. Well, can't get it in the sun because of the blinds. That's okay. Alright, time to plane her down. Uh, Action. Are you on? Yes. Oh. <laughs>
All right, so number one was applied. Now we're gonna work on number two, Poxy Cleaner. So our lovely piece here, I'm going to go over it with some Odie's oil, mostly just on the wood. I'm probably going to hit everything, but I got to seal the wood before I start waxing the uh, resin. So let's get started. Let this Odie soak into the wood real good. It'll seal that up. This stuff smells so good. I, don't know if it's, I know it's food grade. It's already popping. Look how nice that looks. Once this is all dry, I'm going to finish the whole top. But once that's all finished up, then we'll start polishing the resin. This will, this Odie's will set up and get tacky. Once that's done, I can start taking a dry towel and wiping that off. And uh, we'll start polishing up the resin. Hi people. All right. It is done. I had to go back and sand it again. But I think it looks beautiful. Give us your your take on it. Look at those beautiful shells. The green you guys asked for uh hunter green or I can't remember what you guys called it. But that's the green. Look how pretty that came out. The wood looks beautiful. The shells are beautiful. You can find this. This piece was a lot of work. <laughs> it drove me nuts. If you want this piece, click on the link in the description to the eBay listing. That's where you will find it. We have a very special one coming up next, right? We can't give too many details. Oh, yeah, that piece. Yeah, that piece. Yeah, it's going to be a nice one. It'll be good, specific to somebody's tastes, but... A lot of meaning behind it. All right, y'all. Hasta la vista. You have a blessed day. We'll see you tomorrow.